Look around you. What do you see? A monitor, a keyboard, a window, a light? Everything around us could be considered an object. An object is a real-world entity or thing. Objects have characteristics such as color, texture, or shape. The lamp in this picture is brass with a white lampshade. These characteristics are called properties. Many objects also have behavior, that is, actions that can be performed. A light can be turned on and off. Keyboard keys can be pressed. These behaviors are called methods. Pick an object you see. What are its characteristics, called properties? And what are its behaviors, called methods? What about this balloon? What are some of its properties and methods? The object is the balloon. It has properties such as color and filled status, and methods such as float and fill. And in the case of fill, we specify how much of the balloon to fill, such as 90%. What does this have to do with JavaScript? Since we are focused on JavaScript for the web, our JavaScript runs in the browser. So, what might be some common objects we want to work with in our JavaScript code? Well, we'll want to work with the web page itself, locating HTML elements, interacting with them, and optionally modifying their content or style. To do that, we use the document object. Or we may want to write messages out to the browser's developer tools, as we saw in the prior demo. We use the console object for that. There are many other objects we can work with, but let's focus on these two. Once we have an object, we can access its properties and methods. Let's look at some examples. To read the value of a property, we use the object name, a dot or period, and the property name. Here we define a variable and use the title property to assign the variable to the document's title. An important note here, JavaScript is case-sensitive. That means that a variable name page title with an uppercase T is not the same variable as page title with a lowercase t. So take care when spelling, casing, and typing your variables, objects, properties, methods, and statements. To modify a property, we use the object name, a dot, and the property name then assign it to a value. Here we assign the document's title to a text string enclosed in quotes. To make the object do something, we call one of its methods. We use the object name, a dot, and the method name. We follow a method name with parentheses. That distinguishes a property from a method and tells the browser to perform that method. Some methods have parameters, so we can pass information to the method. The method then uses the passed-in information to perform its operation. In this example, we use the console object and call the log method. This writes the provided text to the browser's developer tools console. Between the parentheses, we pass in the text we want to write out. Since this is a text string, we enclose it in quotes. Because they are similar, you may hear the terms method and function used interchangeably. Though a function is normally standalone, while a method is associated with a specific object. We'll work with these objects and their properties and methods throughout this course. If the basic concept of variables and assigning values are new to you, consider pausing here and watching the gentle introduction to programming for beginners first. So, in JavaScript, an object often represents a real world thing such as the HTML document or the device battery. But it can also represent a technical thing, such as the browser console or a file. Properties define the characteristics of an object. They are referenced using the object name, a dot or a period, and the property name, for example, document.title. Methods are the behaviors of that object. They define what operations that the object can perform. Call a method using the object name, a dot or period, the property name, and parentheses. Console.log, hello, for example. 
pass any information the method needs for its operation between the parentheses. And note that you may hear the words method and function used interchangeably. An interface defines the set of properties and methods for an object. You may hear this term when referring to an API, or Application Programming Interface. Next up, let's write some JavaScript code. Questions about JavaScript? Please leave a comment, like, and subscribe.